I thought I'd have a bit of fun with you and do a dirty flip cup acrylic pour and then turn it into an optical illusion. Stay tuned. Hi everybody. I'm going to do a 3D kind of illusion painting and it's done in several stages. First of all, I'm going to do a dirty flip cup, dirty flip cup, whew, acrylic pour. And there is a lady that I found on YouTube, it's one of the recommended videos on my feed, called Me. I don't think that's her real name, but it's, I think it's called um, Art by Me, M-I-I. -I. Anyway, I'll put, I will put the link to her YouTube channel before, uh, below this, so definitely check out that. I'm gonna do a pretty monochrome dirty flip cup with some blue to bring out some, um, a bit of interest. I'm using AI Friedman's Green Light, Winsor & Newton's Thalo Green, Winsor & Newton's Permanent Green Middle, Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green, Grumbocker's Academy line of Hooker's Green Hue, AI Friedman Permanent Green, Liquitex Basics Cobalt Blue Hue, and I also have some Titanium White. In every color, there is no silicone. I have done a generous squirt of GAC 100, which prevents cracking and, um, you know, crackling with the paint crackling. So now I'm going to do a dirty flip cup. Let me move these out of the way. Okay, what I'm first going to do is put some white in each corner to help the paint, paint glad. I'm not going to actually use a lot of white in my flip cup. I just want a drop. Okay. I hope my head's not in this. This is a gallery wrap canvas. It's quite big, so I have to set my camera up quite high. It's a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped. So that will do. Here's my flip cup. I am going to, I'm going to start with some white actually because that's going to come out last. And then some lime green. I was trying to find on the, each tube of paint, what, if they were opaque, or semi-opaque and some paints put it on but not all of them because there's no silicone in this as I told you but when you use different brands and different densities you do tend to get cells so you don't actually need silicone in your work if you know you know that that paint is going to get affected by the density and buy another brand. Okay, I'm gonna move these, start moving these to the side. It's probably gonna take quite a lot of paint. Yeah, it's sinking straight to the bottom. I'll try and make it sit on the top. It tends to sit on the top more if you tilt your, if you tilt the cup, your flip cup. Those two don't look much different. I'm going to put some blue in the middle. I really hope that comes through. And then mm, some more of the Windsor & Newton green. Okay, that's done that. Finished. 
and some aqua. Finish that up. That's finished. Maybe a little bit more white. That's sunk straight to the bottom. And what else? Let's do some more bright green. This will give it some life. There we go. And I may as well fill the cup to the brim. Maybe some more blue, because you really hope the blue shows up. And finally, some more white. This is like 16 ounce glass, uh, plastic beaker. So that's gonna have, oh, it sunk straight to the bottom. All right, so let's move everything out of the way. And I have taped the back. And this is this is big and heavy, so how am I gonna do this? Hold it by the side. Here we go. There we go. Flip. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for 30 seconds. Okay, so here we go. Like, I like monochrome paintings. You know? Sometimes they're just a little classy. Right, I'm gonna torch this. All right. Okay, I'm gonna move this around very slowly. white, a lot of white. Which I'm not that keen on, to be honest. I'm going to tip it back. And I want to try and get that the white off. So if I were doing a regular flip cup. Those of you who know me, I wouldn't move it around so crazy because I'm not a fan of zigzag lines or anything like that. So I tend to try and move it slowly, but that's not what this painting is all about. This is just the first step. Once this is dry, all will be revealed in my plan. Okay, I'm gonna move that back just a bit. Check the sides, oh yeah, the sides are covered, that is for sure. I'm going to have to turn it around because I have to check that at this point everything is completely covered. Some gaps here. Alright, right, that is that bit. 
and as soon as this is dry, which is going to take at least 24 hours, we will come back and do the next bit, which is so much fun. All right, I'm going to torch this again. There are still more cells popping up. Lots. Lots of lacing. Ooh, look at that. And I don't mind the lacing in this. Actually, it's going to give the whole thing a great effect. All right. We'll come back once that's dry. Now the painting's dry, I have been sketching out my optical illusion. I've got all these oh, sketches that I've done, I've stuck them together, and um, now I'm kind of happy with how this is going to look and the position. So um, I need to do lots of measuring and ruler work. So I'm gonna come back once I've sketched this on my canvas. staircase um, I don't want it too dark I hope you can see I've mixed up some different greys and I need that I don't want black black anyway I have some small brushes here I am going to begin painting my staircase in fact I think I'm going to just spray some alcohol on here, take a cotton bud, I think I want to blur the top of the staircase, it's not a perfect square, let me see how I can get that off, maybe with more saturated try this. Okay, I'm going to paint something up there. Right, get on with the painting. I'm going to begin with some grey.
painting this and nothing came out on my video so I apologize but you saw me drawing and um, so I just followed the lines around to create an illusion and husband in the background listening to music he likes his music anyway that's fine you can have a little musical accompaniment oh I'm so furious at this film anyway I hope you get the general idea and I am gonna do another one of these maybe just with rectangles so, there we go. I hope you can see the illusion. going to do a voiceover just for this last bit so I got a sponge I'm happy so happy listening to his music I don't want to stop him so I got a sponge I am going to wet it with some water and dampen my canvas as well as my sponge and what I'm going to do now is create another layer over my optical illusion so you've got kind of this galactical space in the background and then I'm going to dip my sponge in some white paint and then just stipple it on over the top of the staircase like so so it's like a cloud and I'm going to add a little bit of light gray as well within the crowd a uh, crowd cloud this is like the staircase to heaven. So I'm going to spread this cloud out towards the edge of the canvas. And I'm going to take a little bit of gray because I don't want it completely stark. What I love about this painting is this just so beautiful green, dirty flip cup in the background. And the staircase is just black and white. I love it. It's like so surreal. It's great. So just dab the cloud. I want it just a little bit wider. Okay. So it, it's also slightly transparent. That creates even another illusion. So there you have your staircase to heaven. Voila. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and read all the links below this. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Voila. Thanks for watching.